study. You focus on your study, son. You won't be able to get to a good school and make good money if you don't focus on your studies. No, ma no matter how much the world is in danger and you want to act like your father and be the savior to the world, focus on focus on your studies, young man. Man, if you don't shut the fuck up. What's happening, everybody? This is your boy Blaze back with another one for Venomous Reactions, and today we got some Black Air Force content. Yes, courtesy of CJ the Champ, Majin Buu, the Ultimate Menace. Now, we already did a Majin Buu Black Air Force Energy video courtesy of Sensei. Now we're going to check it out from CJ the Champ's point of view. And CJ the Champ, just like Sensei, he never misses. Like, he is absolutely accurate on everything he states when it comes to black air force energy videos so i'm already intrigued i'm not even gonna waste no time we're just gonna jump right into it so without further ado let's go she walks up to this man and slaps him in the face so then boom, that was a big mistake says, do you like eggs? And turns her into a literal egg. Then he said, Literally. I like my scramble. Bitch. Oh, bruh, man, we're not even, man, we're not even like thirty seconds in, and already he started off with the best clip. Now, Chi Chi, I I got to ask, what the hell was you thinking? Like, what did you think what was gonna happen? When you walked up to this man and, oh, man, <laughs> you basically slapped the very same person that annihilated, like, a good 90 to 95% of the human race within minutes. Like, what was you thinking? Like, come on now. Yo, this intro though. Woo. Mm -mm -mm. Menaces. Truly terrifying creatures. Yep. The rarest breed of the anime character in today's society. Their ignorance, disrespect, and disregard for human life is just unmatched. That is why we made a round table for these rare breeds of menaces. The person leading that charge is a little pink ass <laughs> This absolute menace, absolute <laughs> demon, yeah. the ultimate Black Air Force. Bro. This thing is the ultimate personification of a hood. Like, th this ain't even like a Black Air Force. This is a Black Tim, a Fila, a <laughs> Shaq, a damn Fubu. This little. Oh, this oh no, not Fubu, bro. <laughs> you got me a Fila, but Fubu, bro. Oh no, <laughs> that's cold blooded. It's just absolutely terrifying. There's a reason he's at the front. So, uh, y'all already know your boy got the evidence on deck. And then yeah, let's get the evidence cracking. The ultimate menace. So, without further ado, <clears throat> exhibit A. Mm. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So as we know, Majin Buu has multiple various forms. And with each that form, he does. it's even worse worse to just outright what the f so obviously we have to start from the beginning accurate so description you exhibit a fat boo so as we know goku and vegeta are fighting right now and that's mm -hmm. getting all the energy for boo to wake up so when boo hatches out his shell and everybody sees him everybody's looking like you telling me this fat ass <laughs> captain d's patrick star kirby looking mother is a terror of the universe <laughs> yo <laughs> that is an accurate description though because that's all the fat version of Majin Buu reminds me of. Like, he reminds me of the Dragon Ball Z version of Kirby. The kind that gets, like, a power boost from basically devouring anything and everything in sight. Oh, my God. Yo. That, 
back when this first came out, I was just like, how? how? <laughs> Why would you give him this ability? But now looking at it from the eyes I have now, oh my god. <laughs> you gotta be kidding, right? Like, look at him. He's Fast. waddling. So DeBoer is looking at Bobby like, really, my boy? You was really hyping all this up? <laughs> what a pity. So then Boo looks over oh. at him, and he's like, boy, I know you ain't talking shit with that receding ass hairline. Like, god damn, your shit look worse than Vegeta. <laughs> so then Boo starts steaming, and then he smiles at him, and he sweeps and gouges out his eyes. <laughs> he's like, nah, 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 Boo Boo, shut your stupid ass up. Oh, that's revive, out the demon king with a kick. Look at Gohan. He like, ain't no way, boy. I just had a whole three episode fight with this man. Yep. And he just kicked him like a rag doll. Ah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> Gohan was smart. Like, bro. Like, I barely survived against the demon king. And now this fat, this fat pig son of a bitch knocks him out with one with one swift kick right into right into the crevices of the mountain or or mountain ground, whatever you want to call it. And he demolished the Demon King like that? Oh no, nah, bro. Yo, Supreme Kai, bring your ass. We get the hell up out of here. <laughs> Time to go. So why are they flying booting already caught up? I'm like, oh, where y'all think y'all going? The fun just started. Look at Supreme Kai. He like, oh my god. I'm about to yep. die. Man straight up clapped his face. He just started beating the brakes off his ass. Then this man comes from the top rope like the big show and sits on his ass. Oh. His That's what I like to call the bonsai drop from the heavens. Like he flat out went full blown Rikishi from the sky and just bonsai dropped him straight into downtown hell, <laughs> bro. Yo. His everything was just pretty much jello after that. <laughs> his organs, his spine, oh, that man is dumb. everything but was comes demolished. In and tries to stop him, but who said, "Get your bum ass out my sight"? <laughs> All right. Send my so, boy so disrespectful. But then Deborah comes back and tries to lay the hands on him again, but he literally turns this man into a cookie and he straight up devours this in one bite. Oh, nah, bro. This man literally just bro. turned the demon king Yo, that into a me out. gingerbread man and devoured literally. him in one bite. So then Vegeta pulls up, but. <laughs> Come on, y'all. It's Vegeta. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Vegeta's my favorite character, and I already knew he was gonna get his ass beat. So, facts. Like, like you would think that Akira Toriyama would actually gave Vegeta a solid dub, a solid W, but we all know uh, that was not about to happen. It it never hurts to have a little bit of hope, but bruh, yo, I ain't gonna front. Major Vegeta. He was absolute badass. No questions asked. And, dude, he got disrespected in so many ways. Oh, God. Oh, he wraps him up and traps him. And look at him skipping. He's like, hippity doo da, I'm about to whoop that ass. Yippee! <laughs> Here we go! Boom! And it's good! Boom, man. Then he comes from the top rope again and. Oh, <laughs> yeah! Damn! Bonsai dropped from the heavens. Bang, 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 bang. And that done, bro. GG. So Vegeta's like, well, then, bro. If I can't beat him, might as well just blow myself up then. Drunks, yeah, love you, kid, but. He got to that to point. With you, you were an accident. You got the power down. He blew himself up. He took Boo with him. Or so we thought. Bro, I literally thought like when Vegeta did the final explosion and he basically sacrificed himself to take Majin Buu out, I literally thought that was the end. That was until I saw like a preview to the next episode, like Majin Buu, Majin Buu survived. What in the everlasting hell is going on here?
How do you get rid of this fool? Like, damn. This man really rebuilt himself and he is still kicking, bro. Literally. So after this boot just goes on a complete rampage. They went to this one city, so he's like, all right, everybody bring that ass up. So then he's like, all right, what I want to eat? Cake or candy? Mm, candy. So he turns everybody in that city into candy. The man started Ooh. inhaling them like Kirby. And this man Facts. really gobbled up this entire town in the amount of seconds. He decides to That was so disrespectful. Bro just laid out the entire city. Then he went to the next one, lifted him up, and told everything and did it again. to a chocolate bar. So after this, Goku finally pulled up and pulled out SS3. After, you know, like, screaming his ass off for, like, the entire Damn, they're breaking his voice box. And was looking like he was taking the fattest doodle -doo of his life. <laughs> and I ain't gonna lie, though. Goku was beating the brakes off his ass, though. He they was. grabbed him by his antenna and started playing paddle ball with him. Look at him, boing, 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 boing. Bro, it's like he's so doing this with no effort. <laughs> then he throws him into an entire building. Bro, Goku, bro. I thought you was all about saving the people of Earth, but apparently not. Bro, chucked him not into in this case. <laughs> and chucked him into a whole building with probably people still in it. And look at him, he like, mm -mm. man, f them. We'll wish him back with the Dragon Balls. So then Goku powers down and he's like, that's exactly a Goku boy. thought. I'm about right to run out of time, so I got a proposition for you. Wait two days, and there's gonna be a warrior that's gonna wanna box you. And also, stop listening to that bum ass chameleon. Like for real, my boy, you show off him. So after Goku dips, he was like, man, you know what? He was right. So he <laughs> grabs him and punches his head off. Bro chucked him and blew him to smithereens. Yo, seeing that in the uncut version, man, that just made it even more funnier. <laughs> like, like Bobbity was down there pleading for his life, and Bajibu was like, no, nah, you know what? You rang your bell too many times, my boy. That too many times before I had to press that fucking button inside my mind. Like, you know what? I had enough of this. So, Arifa Dirty to you. See you in the afterlife, if I make it. <laughs> look at him, he's like, ah, yes. <laughs> Boo, free man. <laughs> free like, at no last, bum -ass free at last. So later on, he's flying around, and then he's like, Ugh. Oh, oh man. Tired, man. So he stops in the middle of the road in front of this truck. So the dude in the truck like, hey, get your fat ass off the road, huh? So Boo turns around, <laughs> and he says, Mister, I have a question. Am I handsome? Then the dude in the truck like, <laughs> Hell no, nah, nigga, you get no bitches. Now get the fuck out the road. Then he looks at him, he's like, sit your stupid ass up. Truck <laughs> tune ain't got shit on me. So then he says, you know what? This is a good spot for a house. So he lifts everybody, oh my God. turns them into Play Doh, and builds a little house out of them. And it's dead ass on creative oh. mode at this point. So yeah, that definitely tripped me out. Like, he basically made a house out of the people that he turned into. Basically, like construction clay. Like, yo, you gotta be an ultimate savage to, to do some type of shit like that. So after this, Boo continues his rampage. So he sees these boats and he's like, hmm, Boo play with boats. So this man starts oh. skating on the water and bro blasted through the ship. So he is drowning. So then he grabs on the Boo. Big mistake, bro. At him like, You'd be better off drowning. Get <laughs> off me. Dog sent him to the moon. So then Gotenks pulls up and you already know this man talking shit. And it's like, you fat Captain Bruh. Boots, Big Mac, number one combo, bitch ass. Oh, don't think I'm done. Oh, Pillsbury, dope boy looking ass. Oh, 2012, these can't hold me back. Rick Ross looking ass. But, but. Man, that's living proof. Like, those that talk the most shit is the ones that get their ass whooped the most. <laughs> Y'all already know Boo was not having that disrespect. So we just started beating the brakes off his little ass. Got like, work. Stop playing with me. Then he picks my piece like, oh yeah. He was talking about that good a second ago. And now look at you. Beat the f up. Just, just ravaged like a fucking dog. Man, send that oh, boy to no. the shadow room. So then after this, Mr. Satan pulls up. And they actually become friends. So they outside playing with this dog. And this hunter ends up shooting the dog. Mm. So Boo's like, oh my god. What, what, and what that was the beginning of the end. It, it, am I feeling some type of sympathy right now? Absurd. So Com after this, compassion is above. I'm again, telling you. And then he shoots out this cloud. And in that cloud is another Boo, but he's skinny and he's gray. 
Then he walks up to him and he's like, hey, nigga, did I just catch you feeling some type of sympathy? We don't do that. Yep, yeah, you did. He starts punishing this man, beating the absolute brakes off of him. So Boosh should be mad at but bro blows it away and it hits him and he turns into chocolate. And bro just ate him. Like it was then nothing. He starts to transform. So yeah, that was Exhibit A, and it's time to move on to Exhibit B. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit B, Super Boo. So as we can see, Boo has turned into Super Boo, and this is where it just started to get outlandish. Like, literally. Like, when Super Boo came around, man, and you got a mind that's, that's, you got a mind that's working at full capacity and is capable of logical thought and how to basically massacre somebody? Oh, no, bro. That's that's a deadly combination. And Super Boo became just... Mm. Woo! I'll just let CJ the Champ handle this one. Because <laughs> if you don't know, you're going to know today. So the first thing that this man does is jump in homie's mouth. Oh! No, like, for real, like, this is, like, actually disgusting. I'm not showing this. Literally, anyways, it was. So he's a blasting off to the lookout. So when he gets to the lookout, he's like, all right, listen up. I was promised a fight two days ago that there's going to be some mm -hmm. strong ass. So produce that ass. Come on now, chop, chop. Don't be shy. Yeah. So Pitbull Everyone was frozen. making a grave mistake. So Goten and Trunks aren't ready to fight. So he ends up saying, there's plenty of other people on Earth that you can kill for your amusement while you wait. Mm. So Boo's like, I bet. So he starts <laughs> walking around the lookout and he's surveying how many humans are left alive right now. So after he's done, he lifts up his hand and uses human extinction attack. Bro, that at that point, Piccolo knew. He fucked up. Because this this level of boo is vastly different from what you encountered. Like, bro, the human extinction attack, that basically cut, like, the human race down to, like, a literal handful. A literal handful. Oh, man. Woo. That was a savage attack. I ain't gonna lie. And he straight up deletes the entire human population. <laughs> so after he's done, he's like, all right, I'm done. Now bring that ass. So Piccolo's like, all right, listen, listen, my boy. Just give us one hour. That's all we need. And bro's like, an hour? Hell no. I don't, I don't feel like waiting. Talking, she's like, it's just an hour. I hope you're not scared. Oh, you're a chicken. Then Boo looks at her. He's like, shut your stupid ass up with that cell soccer Gohan cut you got going on right now. Matter of fact, I should just kill you. So then Piccolo's like, yo, just chill out. Bro. Just wait the hour. So about five minutes later, while Boo's waiting, Chi Chi does one of the dumbest things I have ever seen. Bro. If, if there was any character on Dragon Ball Z, I, I wanted somebody to get got, it would be Chi Chi. Because, no offense, but I cannot stand her. I cannot stand her with a passion. Like, she's the sole reason why Gohan became like sauce after this, after the Cell Saga. Oh, study. You focus on your study, son. You won't be able to get to a good school and make good money if you don't focus on your studies. No, ma no matter how much the world is in danger and you want to act like your father and be the savior to the world, focus on focus on your studies, young man. Man, if you don't shut the fuck up, man, it's because of you go on lost lost sight of his true self. Like, bro, when Super Bowl got Chi Chi's ass, that was the happiest moment of my life. I ain't gonna lie. She walks up to this man and slaps him in the face. So then Boo Why? looks at her and he says, Why? Like eggs. And turns her into a literal egg. Then he said, I like my scramble. No. <laughs> that was the coldest kill God, ever. He literally turned her into an egg and stomped her like a roach. And like she was nothing. Oh my mm -mm -mm. god. So about half the time passes Woo. now, and Boo's like, you know what? I'm done with this wait. Bring that ass now. Piccolo was like, bro, it's only been 30. minutes. Boo's like, ah, 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 ah. I'm done with this. 
if I don't get this fade right now, I'm deleting all y'all. So Piccolo takes him to the hyperbolic time chamber so he can fight Gotenks. So he's back there and he's like, really? These little goofy ass <laughs> niggas? I right, bet then. So they start to do the fusion dance, but Boo blitz his trunks and socks. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, you know what? He was like, you know what, man? If I find these two little... These two little types, these mini Super Saiyans. Oh, bro. Okay. Let's just get this over with. <laughs> Before they even got a chance to do the fusion attempt, uh, <laughs> Super Boo was like, you know what? You know what? Screw that fusion shit. Oh, <laughs> and just clocked Trunks out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. So Trunks is like, yo, bro, chill. That's Transformer, bro. That's anime rule number one. You just committed taboo. So when they finally fuse, Boo's like, oh, it's you. I already ran your fade yep. once, but <laughs> I guess I'll do it again. Oh, well, yeah, bro. Why Boo's not? Just, I got nothing else better to do. Straight up jungle the man and sent them all the way back to the pool. Like, look at man's bro. He's just chilling, living his best life. So after this, Piccolo ends up destroying the hyperbolic time chamber. Oh. So he's like, ha ha, now nobody can get out of here. So Boo's like, ain't no way. Ain't no Bas baby basically, that was the death of Hail Mary. If oh, nothing else worked. Won't do. So this man literally screamed a hole and teared open the dimension. So bruh just straight up slithered away. Mm -mm -mm. So he comes back outside and starts looking at everybody. And then he says, Chocolate? 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 <laughs> yeah, he had a field day with everybody on the lookout. <laughs> Your cast into chocolate, bro. Literal chocolate. Bro. Their souls. So later on, when he's fighting Gotenks again, they end up unfusing. So, bro, just fell asleep. Bro, said it ain't even worth it at this point. So, this basically, ultimate Gohan pulls up, and, and this man wanted all the smoke. Let's... Bro, ultimate Gohan. That was like that was like our only chance to get Gohan as a glimpse of what he once was. But we all know, uh, he got disrespected to the max too. And for the simple fact that it was his arrogance that cost him everything when he came, when he came out to beat the brakes off of Super Boo. It was his arrogance. And even Piccolo said it, said it when he referenced it in Super. Like, you didn't close the deal. You became too arrogant. So you might, you might want to shed that arrogance. If you want to defeat a motherfucker, like, don't get arrogant, close the deal, finish the job. Unfortunately, he did not do that. Straight up stared homie down and said, I'm killing you. And yeah, he I'm murky, yo. Ass. the hands on them. Bro was looking like he was fighting right cell again. But, <laughs> Facts. of course, it didn't last long. Man, straight yep. up absorbed Go Tanks and Piccolo. And Gohan literally sat there and watched him do it. So, Man, that pissed me off too. Like, you see, you see what was happening. Why did you do anything to prevent it? Like, you had the power, and you didn't use it. Oh. And after this, it was raps, bro. He was beating the brakes off. Of yeah, he got so work. So then TN shows up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't take this seriously. <laughs> TN. Yeah, bro, get your ass out of here. <laughs> and then bro just ended up absorbing Gohan, too. So then he ends yep. up smacking around Goku and Vegeta like they some damn ragdolls. So then they have to resort to using Vegito. Man, oh man. Yeah, when Vegito came in, that changed everything. Like, think about it. Goku and Vegeta, two of the greatest Saiyans to ever live and exist. Because everybody else in the Saiyan race is gone at this point. And you got two of the strongest warriors on Earth. Fused together. Yeah, Super, yeah, Super Boo didn't stand a chance in hell. <laughs> Not at all. This was an undeniable ass whooping. Vegeta was smacking him. Oh, treated him like, was treated him like he was a whole. So after Goku and Vegeta beat the brakes off of Boo and rescue everybody that he's absorbed, he starts to transform again. And dear God, it's time for Exhibit C. So, Whew. without further ado, Exhibit C. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have finally reached the climax. And Lord have mercy, may God help us all. Exhibit C <laughs> consists of Kid Boo. So as we can see, Boo is transforming right now from this really big buff form. 
And Supreme Kai is losing his mind right now. He's like, oh my god. Bro, even Supreme Kai was shook. Like, when Kid Boo first came into the scene, like, dude, Supreme Kai was like, bro, we're fucked. We are literally screwed at this point. Like, you don't know. This is like the truest form of Majin Buu. His true form. And, bro, he read through all the Supreme Kai's from each quadrant with ease. And Goku and Vegeta, you do not know what you have done. Woo! Uh, oh my god, it's him. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen. The ultimate Black Air Force. No, 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 let me not even say that. The ultimate menace. Kid Facts. Boo. So Vegeta's like, <laughs> look, Kakarot, the little got smaller. And they hella confident right now. So while this is happening, Supreme Kai is having PTSD right now. Bro's like, yo, this is the exactly. dude that killed like, all bro. of the Kais. West Kai. Gone. Gone. North Kai. Gone. Mm -mm. South Kai. Absorbed. Grand Supreme Kai. Dead. Absorbed. You want to know why I became Supreme Kai? Because everybody else is dead. Is dead. So stop <laughs> acting like shit is sweet. So Boo Cause it ain't admiring the scenery. So Bro's like, hmm, time to assert my dominance. <laughs> Basically, in a nutshell, that like everyone knew at that point, right we were screwed. Done, shoots a key blast immediately. So Vegeta stops it from hitting, and Goku's like, yo, this nigga was about to blow up the planet. So then Vegeta's Literally. like, hey, yo, try that again, nigga. I wish you would. So mm -hmm. Boo turns around Be and careful what you wish for. Like, All right, then. So he starts charging up a ginormous one. So Goku's like, yo, chill. <laughs> yeah, Goku's like, bro, bro, we ain't stopping this. We are not stopping this. Let's just grab everybody. We use instant transmission and get the hell up out of here, because... We ain't, we ain't surviving this. <laughs> Not at all. Who just smiles. Bro said, bye-bye. Bro, that was the saddest execution of a planet he ever. He just showed up, blew up the planet for no mm -hmm. reason at all, and didn't even say a word. You know, villains always be saying, hmm, I'm going to destroy Earth. Freeza, fair. Well, I mean, he did do it in Resurrection after, but he did it like a Cell, Facts. I'm gonna blow up the earth and there's nothing you can do. Fail. Boo! Bro didn't even say a word. He just did it. I mean, we should have known he was about that life when the first episode he shows up in is called End the End of, of Earth. earth. <laughs> so after this, this man rebuilds himself almost immediately. Oh my god. instant transmission. Then starts going from planet to planet, blowing up every single one searching for Goku and Vegeta. Man said, that fate is not running away from me. Man, this is basically Kid Boo's formula. Seek, observe, destroy, rebuild yourself, and repeat. Until he found Goku and Vegeta. And man, oh man, did he ever do that with precise precision. Oh my god. Yo, that's a new level of savagery right there. So then Boo does one of the craziest things I have ever seen. And this is where he cemented himself in my books as the ultimate menace. He went to heaven to beat the brakes off a of dead guys. I beg your pardon? He went to yep. go get more smoke he did from that. the dead ops. Look at Kulin and Yamcha. They like, oh my God, bro. Ain't no way this is happening right now. Boosie, oh, it's happening. Rest in peace. I'm whooping that ass again. So this man starts beating the brakes off of everybody. Oh my God, bro. He killed him with a three-piece combo. Then started suplexing him with his antenna. So now this man is ready to wipe everybody Ooh. from existence. But then he sends his Goku and Vegeta again. And he's like, oh, time to go. Like, bro, imagine you are in heaven resting for eternal peace and you see your outcome trying to get some more smoke. Like, bruh. <laughs> yo, imagine if he would have succeeded. Like, yo, everyone knows, like, you could you could be a dead living soul. I think that's what you would call it. But if you get killed again while you're already dead, yo, yo, your existence is... Is finito. It's done. Like, mm-mm. Ain't no Dragon Balls fixing that. 
that, that's just outlandish. So he pulls up to the Kai world and he's like, ah, yes, <laughs> my fade. So he starts fighting Goku. And while he's fighting this man, this man starts emoting, laughing and dancing <laughs> while he's pummeling this man. Yo, Look, he's having the time of his life. Voice, but he's still talking shit. <laughs> you bitch nigga. But ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> what we really have to get to though, is the absolute violation, absolute ass whooping he gave to Vegeta. Like, Yo, he did Vegeta grind me. Like the disrespect was like over the top. Like it was over 9,000. And yo, Vegeta, he got, he got a couple of good hits in there, but bro, he, he was outclassed in every way, in every fashion. Woo, the disrespect. Damn. Good God, he was pummeling this man. Bro said, hmm, looks like I'm gonna have to make your hairline more f***ed up than it already is. <laughs> so Vegeta just ends up getting laid out. But then he ends up getting back up, so who's like, hmm. So yeah, like, I ain't going out like no time. bitch, bro. I then consider this initiation. So bro ends up indenting his foot in his spine. <laughs> then he said, go, no, 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 no. And started choking the life out of man. Bro, oh my God. And that was all she wrote for Vegeta. He he was done. So then yeah, Mister count him out. Wanted some smoke, but <laughs> come on, bro. My toes, my organs, my feet. So then Fat Boo pulls up. Oh so my Boo god! Booga, booga, booga. If it isn't the big ass bubble gum shrimp looking motherfucker, so we just started <laughs> the bubble on gum fat. shrimp, bro. Is welling on himself. He is fading the good version of himself. <laughs> Look at him, bro decided to take a whole time out on him. Then he grabs him and starts gut checking him. Bro, I'm about to make you lose your it breakfast. Oh, so malicious. In him. And Fat Boo was done too. Yeah, he so was cool. So the cooked. way they had to beat this man <laughs> is just absolutely mind boggling. They had to get everybody, oh. the whole damn earth, to give this man Goku some energy so he could extinguish this yep. damn minute. Super spirit he, bomb. He started to push it back. But the plot kicked in, and the ultimate menace was slain. Eventually, he was out of there. And ladies and gentlemen, that is why little homie sits in the front. Like, some of the stuff he was doing was just unexplainable. He faded the entire Whoa. past, blew up the earth on the first episode he showed up in, failed nice. his ops in heaven, as well as deleting the entire human population. <laughs> Dog. So yeah, that's basically how, it. How so, can you uh, not get more seven? Make sure that. you follow your boy on IG and Twitter. I'll have the poll up for the next video the day after this is uploaded. And uh, I'm out of here. Bro, how can you not how can you not respect someone that was that savage like that? Like, come on now. Like, every everything that involved Boo, like, bro, it took like three to four songs just to kill him. Like, that should tell you something right there. Like, it stretched out to three three to four different sagas just to kill Majin Buu. Like, dude. Like, dude. Dude was like a whole other level of savagery. Like, bro. The things he did was so disrespectful. Like, basically reducing the human population down to a handful in a matter of minutes. Blew up, like CJ the Champ said, blew up the planet on the very first episode. Like, bro. And when he got the kid, boo, man, he, he, he was more action than he was talk. Like, I'm not here for the talk. I'm just here to whoop that ass. And that he did with minimal effort. Oh, my God. But, man, great video by CJ the Champ, man. As always, man, he, he points out the most critical points when it comes to black air force energy videos and i'm loving it to the core but thank y'all for tuning in hopefully y'all enjoyed it i know this was a long video but hey i try to i try to minimize it as much as i could and touch on everything that i could but uh, but as always don't forget to tell your peoples across the globe come kick with your boy one good time like comment subscribe and share and this here is your boy Blaze here saying Chuck the Dibbs. And I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.